I very much believe in the imaginative power of the utopian potential mood, in what if, rather than the mimetic as if, in I'm not saying something is true, real, or possible, but what if it were? Often in my work, this takes the shape of what I call pre-enactments, um, which, contrary to re-enactments, uh, I tend to define as reconstructions of possible and impossible futures. And this brings us to Domo de Europa Historia en Exilo, which is uh, Esperanto for uh, the House of European, the House of European Union, uh, oh sorry, the House of European History in Exile. There we are. Um, so, uh, Domo de Europa Historia en Exilo, as uh, Josette, Josette explained, uh, is an arts project that I created first in 2013, which attempted to tackle the apparatus of the European Union. Uh, and as Josette explained, it's a futuristic historical museum about life in the former European Union. Um, the project, I'll give you the logo, there you go. Uh, the project uh, actually um, uh, rose uh, when, uh, in the middle of several overlapping European crises, uh, I on purpose use the word crises and not crises, um, we're talking about financial crises, crises uh, crisis of confidence, um, the, I saw it in the brochure mentioned as, um, uh, between parentheses, uh, migration crisis. I tend not to use this word, but tend to call it the migrant reception crisis. Uh, but anyway, that's a side note we can discuss later on. Um, in the middle of these overlapping crises, um, I, I really wondered, how can we create a historical distance to the present? Um, that was a bit the starting point of the project. Um, and I decided to do it through the process of uh, museumification, um, starting with this building. Uh, this was the first design of the House of European History, which recently opened in Brussels. Um, and I was very much intrigued that, uh, by the fact that in the middle of these overlapping crises, uh, one of the things the European Parliament uh, was uh, funneling a lot of money into uh, was a huge museum on European integration. Um, I found this very intriguing. Um, so this uh, House of European History kind of became the nemesis uh, of the project. Um, because I thought if uh, I go through a process of uh, museumification, I can not only tackle the museum as an instrument of power, but also uh, the ideology that the museum attempts to emanate.